vendor login, you have to be careful about this here. Yesterday, I was speaking to a new potential customer. They have a Magento web shop. They want to switch to 1902 software. Now, when we take in new customers, we do many things. One of those things is called a software review. Software review, excuse me, where we go in and review their web shop and how it's coded to see if there are some fundamental errors, like they have changed in the core and things of that nature that can give problems down the road. In order to do that, we need admin access and we need access to the source code. So we asked our client uh, for that. They gave us the admin access, but came back and said, we cannot give you source code access because our current IT company will not give that to us. And then we found out that when they bought the system and open source Magento system, open source Magento system, they did not buy the rights to the entire system. They only bought the right to the data. So the current supplier said, we cannot give you the system. You cannot move this system to another hosting company. You cannot change supplier. You can get a copy of, of your data in, in, in CSV or Excel or what have you. That was, of course, a very big surprise to our customer because they thought when they bought this web shop, it was their web shop and they could use whoever supplier they wanted to. So they are now a victim of vendor login. This happens many times for smaller companies because they don't quite understand what they're buying and the rules under which that they engage with a uh, supplier. So here, here, here's the deal. When you buy a web shop or website, an open source system, again to WordPress and Park, things of that nature, make sure that it is stipulated in the contract that you can get a full copy of the system, uncompiled, unobfuscated, i.e. it will allow you to make changes. A full copy of that that you can install on another hosting company if you so desire or which you can give to another supplier if you want to change IT supplier. You have to have that in writing and it has to be stipulated if there are any costs involved with that. They may charge you a fee to, uh, to extract the data and, and give it to you, which is, which is of course fair enough, it takes a bit of time. But other than that, if there are any other expenses with that, it has to be, it has to be stipulated. It has to be crystal clear in the contract that you can take the system that they've developed for you, move to another hosting company, and it will run there. If they will not give that to you, then they're trying to, to lock you in to make it between difficult and impossible for you to leave them. In that case, you have to think twice about using, using, uh, using that supplier. Now, that does not apply to systems that are closed. Obviously, you cannot get a copy of, uh, of Microsoft Dynamic and many are a copy of Shopify for that, for, 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 for that matter. But these are huge companies. They don't pretend that they're using um, open source systems. They say how it is. If you have this system, you can use that. If you want to leave, this is the thing you get with you when you leave. But people who, companies who go and say, okay, we use Magento, you get a Magento web shop, you get your data, they make it appear as if you get everything when you leave. But sometimes you do not. So make sure that you have in your contract that you can get everything if you leave so that you can use another hosting company or you can use another IT supplier. If they will not put that in writing, then don't buy from them.